Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today we're going to do part 5 of our Synology Disk Station 414. I manually installed our DSM, our Disk Station Manager 5.0 beta, and I'm going to start showing some of the apps. So today we're going to talk about Disk Station. And Disk Station is a app or station or package uh, that you get from their package center. So today I'm going to show you how to download torrents uh, from either private or public torrent sites. And it will unroar it for you. It will unzip it for you. It will put it into a particular folder in your file station. File station is like uh, Internet uh, Explorer for Windows or the Finder for Mac uh, for the Synology. And... Uh, download station is just so incredibly easy to use and I'm going to show you a site that you can go to and pretty much it makes configuring the torrent downloads incredibly easy. This site is called Sinoboost and it's a community uh, which allows you to put everything into your download station uh, incredibly easy. So let's get started. And let me show you. Now, torrents usually you use uh, a Mac or PC, and you use uTorrent or use Transmission, and basically you get the file, and it'll start downloading uh, the RARs. Uh, RARs are uh, multiple small files that, at the end, they kind of come together with a program like UnRAR, and they make one big file. And this one big file is the actual movie or TV show. So um, there are sites like Torrent Day, which I use. Uh, this is an invite only. And basically there's a bunch of, uh, you know, different shows that are available for the top 15. They have top 25. They have all different kinds of formats that you can download. Um, and it's just incredibly amazing. There's RSS feeds, and I'm going to show you how to plug that in to our download station. And then there's other sites like Pirate Bay, which is uh, sites that you don't have to sign into. There's no username or password. Uh, and then there's also sites like uh, TV Land and Movie Land, which uh, basically it's a URL attached to an MP4. And basically you click it and you start playing it right there in the browser. And I'm going to show you how to set that up too. Um, or you can pretty much right mouse button and save link, but I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to put it right into our download station. So basically, let's now go and show you how easy this is. So we're going to go over to Torrent Day. Remember, that's the one that you have to sign in for. It's uh, required. So let's hit download. And what's going to happen is they're going to give you instructions on exactly how to put it on your Synology. Now, you can see Synology is, like, great for this. And I'm going to show you why they're so great, because they're so community-oriented. Uh, they care about us people trying to download these things, and uh, it's incredible. Uh, so let's hit Download, and it's automatically going to download our Synology Download Station plugin. So here's the plugin here. It's downloaded already. We're going to show it in Finder. And here it is. You just unzip it. And basically it gives you a folder. And inside this folder you have four files. These are the two files that we're going to need. And I'm going to show you how to use it on a disk station. So let's go back to our disk station. Right here. And let's open up file, um, file station so that we can see all our shared folders here. And we're going to hit the settings button right here in download station. And what we need to do is we need to go to BT search. Now, I checked off all the ones that came with the NAS. Uh, they give you pre-filled ones. And uh, you pretty much find a lot of stuff with this. But, of course, there's nothing better than a paid um, site or, you know, like a site that you have to sign in for. So, basically, we're going to add... And we're going to choose the file. And then remember the four files we downloaded. We're going to hit the DLM. And we're going to click that. And we're going to put it right in here. And we're going to add it. 
So now after we add it, you're going to see torrent day right in here. And that's our torrent site. Okay. So we're going to click on it and we're going to sign into it. Now I already pre-signed into it. We're going to check it to see if it works. And it's going to say login success. So now I'm logged into that torrent site. So hit OK, and that's that. So now we go to file hosting, and uh, you see that they pre-give you all these different sites that you can go to to get, you know, movies and stuff. But now we're going to add our own, and we're going to choose. And instead of choosing this DLM file, we're going to click on the host file. So we're going to open that up. Now you see how this site just gives you everything. It does everything for you. So we hit Add, and there it is. And we'll click it. And, of course, we're going to sign in. But it, I think it's a free site. Uh, but I'm going to sign in with my credentials. Why not? Now, what's great is it's going to seed it for you as well. And you can set how long you want to seed it for, and I'll show you that in a minute. So we hit OK. And we're in. OK. So file hosting, and we set up BT Search. OK? I'll leave these all checked off, just so I could show you that everything is coming from Torrent Day. So now let's, what do we do next? Now we have it all set up. Now we also have an RSS feed. So let's, let's get an RSS feed. Now on the site, most sites that are torrent sites, you could set up RSS feeds. And basically it's just going to tell you what's available, what's new. Uh, you know, I'm here for movies. So we'll do all these movies here and we'll do all our TV shows in different formats, whatever you choose, whatever you like. So you create a, direct download and you generate an RSS feed. So we're going to hit copy. Then we're going to go back to our NAS and we're going to click in to RSS and we're going to add. Right mouse button, boom, paste it right in there. And we can download to our downloads folder. We hit OK. And now anything that's available on that torrent day site Will be in here and it'll constantly update you can filter it and you can do searches so let's search now and we have those three sources popped in there so let's let's do something like a broadwalk empire so let's just type in one of the words empire okay we'll hit enter and you could see everything's going to happen now from the, this station you don't need any other programs in there Here's Broadwalk Empire, every single episode, just like you get on the site. So say we wanted to do Season 4, Episode 8. Let's actually find a small file so that it happens quick, and I can show you what happens as soon as they download all the RARs. So we hit Download Immediately, or you can even schedule it. Now let me just show you something else in Settings while we download that. So now I'm downloading it, and you'll see here in All Downloads, that it's going to start downloading any second. Now, this site uh, wants you to seed back, and I have to show you that now. So here it is. It's waiting. It's going to start doing it. Here it is, downloading. It's at 0%. Now, while we're waiting for that, let's go in here. Now, you won't see it show up in downloads yet until it's all unrard, and you'll see it in there with all the RAR files plus the movie, full movie. So if you wanted to start seeding, because it's a requirement on that site. Uh, basically, you could set it up in, let me just see, and it's one of these, oh, here. So we could set it up for a ratio, when my ratio reaches two, which is really hard to do. Uh, you know, you have to like have this thing on all day seating. So I set it high, and then, or if the seating time reaches four hours then you stop seeding. So basically you can set it up to seed for a little bit uh, without even thinking. Uh, basically all you have to do now that you have everything set up is just search. Search what you want. You know what they have on the site. Um, you know, you can visit the site. You can just, you know, go to the site and see, you know, what torrents they have and you can do whatever. Now also this works on mobile. Uh, if you go to download station and I'm going to show it to you because I'm going to mirror it right to the screen and I'm going to show you that uh, let's put air server on and I will mirror my iPhone 5 right to Dave's MacBook and I'll show you 
that you can instantly just go into the number of apps that they have for the Synology disk station. And I can go into Download Manager, and I can see my task. And you can see that I'm downloading, uh, you know, I can leave the house, and I can download this these RAW files. Actually, let's get back to uh, here, because it's almost done. And you're going to see, once it unrars, the computer will make a little noise. There it is. It's finished downloading. And all of a sudden, you click away, and you click back, and here's Broadwalk Empire, and you have all your RAR files, in case you want to unrar them again. Uh, you even have the uh, file that uh, allows you to have multi-language uh, captions. And here is the movie itself. Now, unfortunately, the uh, disk station only has a certain amount of formats that it can do. Uh, it can't transcode. So basically, you probably would have to download this uh, to uh, your Mac and play it there. Or you could use the app on the phone, and I'll show you that. Here's the app on the phone. Well, actually, first let me show you this. Here's the task. And you could do searches from here, and it'll automatically download onto your NAS. You could be away from the house and do it. You can go into your browser. I can have uh, sites like this where I view... TV Land and uh, TV Land's $9.99 for a lifetime membership. So basically, I'll just pick any show and hold this button here and copy it. And then I can just go right into, uh, let's say, we go into search. And I can pretty much just put the show right in here, hit search, and it will automatically uh, download. Uh, I think that's how you do it. But otherwise, Here's my task. I got this show, and now I can have that show. I can see all the files, and there it is right there. Now, if I go into uh, Video Station, or actually if I go into DS File, that's another app, I'll show you that I can play that Broadwalk Empire, and I can use VLC app to uh, go in and play it. When we first met, I told you I was married. Oh, I'm sorry. It shows up on my, uh, you know, MacBook Pro because I'm mirroring uh, my iPhone. So this particular file is actually an MP4. I'm, I apologize, but if it wasn't, and say it's like a, uh, let me go to one that is not. Now this is an AVI file, and you'll see if you have Ace Player iOS app or VLC iOS app, it will play right here on your iOS device. And I didn't have to upload this anywhere. I, it's my my apps, my disk station apps actually look in my in into my NAS, uh, just like the browser does on my Mac. So there's no configuring, no no uploading, no nothing. You just have to have an internet connection. So basically, today's video is to show you all the great things that Download Station can do, and this site. You know, makes it easy for you. you. Just pop those in. I showed you how to do it, and basically, you can get your NAS to do everything for you, and have your TV shows and movies and songs waiting for you. So, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm going to be hitting a lot of these videos with uh, talking about all the apps and what we can do with all our, you know, with our Synology disk station, and also, I'm going to show you all these great things like sick beard and headphones and we're going to show you how to use all these great apps that you can get from third party now there is third party apps and i'm going to show you that i installed the source for the third party and that's the sinocommunity.com stay tuned and i will see you on my next video thank you